And good morning. Good morning, peeps. You are driving me to the airport again. Look at that happy face. She gets so excited when I'm leaving. She's like, I get the house to myself. I get to watch what I want to watch. I don't have to. He makes these things up to make himself feel better about leaving. That's true. <laughs> But we had an awful good breakfast this morning. We did. You made like farm fresh eggs. Yes. And keto French toast. Yes. So use keto bread. Right. And uh, eggs. With cinnamon With cin and maple flavoring. Uh huh. And then we use sugar free syrup or whatever yes. it was, right? Oh, it was so good. And the farm fresh eggs, if you know anybody that has. Um, not just organic eggs, but these are eggs that they like their chickens lay and they pick them out of the yard, right? Yeah, That's like pasteurized. Yeah, these like are that. just these are eggs right out of the chicken's butt, and she gets them from uh, it's a person at work, Jeremy right? Jeremy Walton Farm. Yeah, so they're delicious, and they're all different colors, and the yolks are super super orange, orangey yellowish yellowy. thing. They're they're delicious. Anyway, so, good. so we're on the way to the airport and. Uh, I'm on my way to Alaska. Did I say that? Did I, say I don't Alaska? know. I don't know if I said that. Alaska. So I'm flying to Juneau. I'm very excited. Tonight. You prefer Alaska over the Caribbean. I actually do. I prefer... <laughs> I like Alaska. I love Alaska. It's gorgeous. So the, the glaciers and the water's blue and you see eagles everywhere. And last year when I did the cruise, I saw a bear down by the, the water. But I've never seen a bear up close. You know, this was like way off in the distance. And they're like, you know, if you look out of the right, there's a bear, you know. But, you know, people like our friends Chris and Nora up in Buena Vista, they see bears. And my brother has seen a bear. And, uh, I don't know that I want to see a bear up close. You wouldn't want to see a bear just like walk across right in front of the car? Yeah. I think that would be cool. I hear they can be aggressive when they're hungry. Well, yeah. But they're not going to eat your car to get to you. I'm pretty sure they've attacked cars before. Oh, that's just something you've seen on YouTube or heard about on YouTube. That's okay. probably true. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's where I'm heading right now to the airport. So. Yes. Later. Yeah, it's all the time. Maybe a little over an hour to kill. I've been doing stuff. I dropped Steve off at the airport, as you saw, and I've been doing yard work. And I have built this little corner of our backyard that I'm hoping this bench that I just picked up from Home Depot will fit in. Fingers are crossed. I've been working hard today, and I am so excited that I think I may have finished this project in a day. Let's go see. Look. So three, two days ago, there was a tree here that was dead. Steve thankfully had it removed and I leveled it out, added some fill dirt and thankfully our neighbors that moved gave us these, these border things. So I used those and they gave us these pavers. So I used those and I went to Home Depot, got a bench and a pillow and a table. I can't do anything with these. So I may just like, I don't know, find some way to make them decorative, but. Guys, I am so proud of the hard work that I put in today because I'm sitting in the finished product. You gotta see this. I'm gonna grab a beverage and probably some Bluetooth headphones and I am going to relax. Yay! Here in Juno. Last time I was here, I stayed across the street, right there. But I'm not this time. Waiting for an Uber to take me downtown. I'm in downtown Juno tonight, so that's what I'm, I'm waiting on my ride. And here's my cute little room here in Juno, Alaska. This is like I don't know how old this hotel is, but it's right in downtown. Nice big bed. I'm happy with it. I won't be awake much longer. It is uh, like 11 o'clock. Wow, 
and I have been up since seven this morning. Long travel day. Good morning, guys, and welcome to my morning in Juneau, Alaska. It's beautiful here today. It's gorgeous. So I'm gonna get out and walk around. I didn't sleep great last night. I didn't sleep horrible, I just didn't sleep great. I didn't sleep long. Um, the room didn't have an air conditioner. It's an old hotel I showed you guys. And uh, just has a, a heater. And so it, it said, uh, if you're a little known how to work the heater, and it says, if your room is too hot, open the window to different levels to cool down the, okay. Well, I, I was hot. So anyway, I got up early. It's great. I wanted to get out and walk around before I have to leave the hotel and get on a ship anyway. So I'm just going to walk around, sightsee for a couple hours and uh, maybe grab a, another coffee or breakfast. I don't know. Let's go see. The last time I was here last year, in this spot, there was a row of like kiosks of restaurants and coffee shops, these little kiosks. And I got, it was a great coffee place and it was a really good crepe. But now they're all gone and they're leveling it out and I don't know why. Why? I walked all the way down here. Come on, why? No puffing. Oh, no smoking. Your motor running, head out on the highway, looking for adventure, and whatever comes our way. Having breakfast at this little place.
moco, no rice. So it's keto as possible. Cleaned my plate. That was so yummy. That was pretty good too. I liked that sauce. It's actually a frozen pudding. It's the fudge boys. You gotta have a new painting in an old saloon, don't you? This is a hundred year old saloon. Got a nice stage set up. I was going to sit in this old saloon. I'm still in it. I was going to come in here and sit at the bar like the Old West and have a beer. But since I don't drink, I was going to get a uh, O'Doul's. They don't serve any non-alcohol beer here. Not one. Not none. When I asked, he sort of laughed. And he goes, I don't think there's anywhere in town that sells that. And he called another guy over and asked. And he goes, well, I can't think of anywhere in town. So I guess when you're in Alaska, or Juneau, you drink. And I mean, really drink.